the extra work what we're trying to do really is we get a lot done in practice but it's like a lot of extra stuff you need to do it's like sometimes you didn't get a certain look during practice you want to work on that during the after work uh, sometimes you just want to try your skills out you see me out here doing one hand catches sometimes um, football is funny you just get out here and get some work in get better every time you try camp has been good um, the energy level has been good uh, you know, we had a couple of laws in there, but that's kind of expected a little bit, but uh, guys are working. We mainly come out and get extra work just because, you know, it's always a look that we didn't get or it's always something where, you know, oh, I seen this during practice, let me work on this before tomorrow, or you know what I mean? It's just always getting better and you know, just because mm -hmm. you did it and you, you know what I mean, like how you did it, doesn't mean you always can't get better. So it's just, you know, perfecting our craft a little bit. You know, being player motivated instead of coach motivated, you know, it's a process. It's taken three years, you know, to get that point across. But now they finally seen it. And I think, um, you know, even going to, to Xenia has something to do with it because we were isolated, we were away. Things were a little bit closer, so they started doing this, staying after practice. And now that is just kind of what they do, you know, is stay after practice now. So there was a lot of good that has happened in this camp about, as, you know, mentality-wise. It helps keep people going, you know what I mean? And yes, you, you never want to have a dead practice because, you know, even being having a lot of Jews would, you know, trigger some mess in your mind to communicate with, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. on defense, when we communicate a lot, it's always just, oh, we live, you know, it, and you always think of stuff that you need to think about. So it just, it, it helps out the environment. It helps getting us through camp. That's what it does. It's a new feel. Make sure you're getting your rest. We don't want you out here, and we appreciate, we don't want you out here having another hour of practice, okay? 20 minutes is long enough. Get out here and then get some, get some meat and then get some rest, all right? Practices are tough. It's not like they're not working and they just got a bunch of energy left. It's what they want to work on a little bit extra. So um, it's almost to the point where right now it's too much. You know, I go walk after practice for 30 minutes. I go take a shower and I come out and I still see guys out here. You know, so, you know, we just got to make sure that they're doing it the right way, still getting their rest and still doing the things that they need to do. So when we come out here in the afternoon, they're fresh. It's definitely a new culture. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely a new culture. We're hungry, hungry, definitely hungry. We can't have another season like last year. We're just striving to be the best for real. See, they got us down in the rakers or whatever, man. We're not with that. Trying to win the MAC this year, so I'm hungry. Yeah, you know, Haynes always, Coach Haynes always says, two and nine to greatness, so you can't, you know, be great from going just from practice. So, I mean, it's helping us a lot, you know. Got to do the little things. Tight, tight, tight. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Family. celebration we got going on it's called the dab where you just you know arm and elbow just a new celebration that we're going on like you know dab you know what i mean so y'all catch up it's a new movement Ciao.